Hey friends. So I'm going to do something uh, really quick with you. And I didn't get a chance to paint my little friend here, but my shirt today inspired <laughs> me really quickly to do this. We were sitting and watching uh, the Trolls movie last night. And this beautiful lady on my shirt actually plays one of the characters in Trolls. And if you don't know who it is, this is Miss Gwen Stefani. I think I have loved her since I have been like in high school. She's been around forever. And she is one of the characters in Trolls, um, as well as a hero of me and my daughter. We listen to her all the time. And so um, I decided to pull out my Trolls lesson really quickly. And uh, this is a really fun lesson that I do with the kids. And um, what we do with it is um, I use this around the same time that I kind of finish up the color monster lesson with my first graders. And um, we start talking about the trolls and we start talking about their feelings and how bright and colorful all the trolls are because they're so happy. And so the artist who created the movie Trolls um, uses all these bright colors to represent all of them and their happy feelings. And then, of course, there's our one friend, Branch, who is not created with all the happy colors until a little bit later in the movie. And he's all these dark and dreary colors because he has all these dark and dreary feelings. And, um, you know, there's reasons behind his feelings and all those, you know, reasons are, are okay and they're valid. And so um, we use the trolls to discuss that. And then um, what we do is I teach them how to kind of draw their little troll face. And um, going back to how we draw texture and create the hair. And I show them how to use our shapes to draw the face itself. And then we do get out paints to paint the face and the hair. Actually, I let them color the face because I don't have all kinds of cool colors in my paint. The paint palette is limited. So I'm going to show you how to draw the face and the hair. And then how you do this is totally up to you as far as coloring. Because <clears throat> if your paint palette looks like mine and you have limited colors, you may want to use you know your crayons or whatever so that you get uh, more bright colors than what the paint palette offers. As I'm passing out the materials, I do tell them, hey, if you want to color your face like in pink or turquoise or lime green or whatever we don't have available in the paint set, then go for it. So that is what we do. But um, and then we kind of talk about um, the feelings of each troll. And uh, what I ask the kids to do is paint the hair, um, you know, based on their own feelings, their own emotions. Some of them do get stuck on, well, I want to be Princess Poppy. Well, okay, but how does um, how does Poppy feel? What are her emotions? And, you know, how does that... And then they, they do kind of get back into the swing of using that to, to talk about emotions and things. So it's a fun lesson. While we're painting, we put on the troll soundtrack and they, um, they sit and they sing. And it's just... Um, we have a really good time when we do this lesson. We really, really enjoy it. And, you know, they've now got a new movie coming out. So the kids absolutely adore this one. And um, I love when I can do really fun lessons with them. So generally I do this one with first grade. But since the trolls are just so popular and we're really using basic shapes that you see in here, we're using a lot of ovals for the face, ovals for the nose, ovals for the eyes. Um, you know, if you had a younger student that wanted to do this, you certainly could assist them in kind of drawing it and then uh, coloring, painting, however you want to do it afterwards. If you have an older student, um, I hang up all the artworks. I have one bulletin board where um, I just display what each grade level is doing for the week. Um, my second graders and their graders, sometimes even my fifth graders come and they're like, why is first grade get to make a troll? That's not fair. I'm going to do it. So sometimes even the older kids like what um, the younger groups are doing because it's, you know, either nostalgic or it's just fun. They just want to do something fun. So we're going to create our little troll. It's a very simple for you guys to do now that I'm done talking. Maybe I'm right now. 
So we're going to start with the head, and again, that goes down at the um, towards the bottom of the paper. And we want to make sure that the head is big enough. I do do this on much bigger paper with the kids so that they've uh, got some room to paint. Actually, I think I shrunk it to this size this year, so we had an easier time painting. Now I don't remember. <laughs> but my daughter would. She painted these this year. I tell them, um, make the face big enough so that you're able to get in all of the facial features. And again, telling them to draw something big is very abstract to them. So I tell them, try and get it bigger than your hand. So, you know, they put their hand on the paper. They kind of look at it. I have them start drawing around their hand. And then they move it so they get an idea. And then we finish up the face. And it's near the bottom so that we've got plenty of room for all of that troll hair, which is so fun. And then kind of draw the neck while we're down here so we don't have a floating head. We don't want our troll head to float away. And then the next thing I have them do is the nose. I tell them to do your little round nose. Um, the trolls in the movie have, you know, noses similar to us, with little nostrils and stuff. But um, for the sake of keeping it easy for the students, we do just a, a very basic round oval nose that's laying down. So there we go. And then we put our two little eyes on top of the nose. And um, some of theirs look a little different than mine. I rest mine right on the nose. Um, some of the kids will draw a separate little oval, you know, kind of hovering above it, which is, you know, not incorrect at all. It just depends on how you uh, create your eye. So I do my little ovals. And they're not quite done yet because they have to be able to see. We need some pupils. And for that, I tell them, just give me a curved line. And I usually have them fill that in with the crayon instead of the paint because it's a little bit easier. Like I said, for these, I do paint them with the kids, but you can fill these in however you want to, depending on the colors you get. And the kids, um, I tell them now, it depends on if you want your to be a boy or a girl. I mean, boys do have eyelashes, but at the really young age, they're still kind of equating eyelashes with girls. So, but we do say, oh, remember, boys do have eyelashes. You can feel them. And, oh, yeah, okay, they do. <laughs> but I tell them, if you want to add little eyelashes, or if you've got rim above your eyes and draw a little eyebrow, that is fine. And then um, the next thing I tell them, I said, now you've got to start thinking about how you want your troll to feel. So you should already be thinking about your um, choice of hair color. Is it going to be a good feeling? Is it going to be yellow, happy, and pink? Um, one of our bright colors, um, because then he's, or she, he or she is going to have a great big smile, a good feeling. But if you're thinking about doing your troll with, Maybe a color that's not as uh, good of a feeling, like branch, maybe where it's black or maybe sad and blue. Um, then maybe your troll will have a frown. He's not having a good day. And so um, the kids, they do. They respond accordingly to their trolls and they give them um, the right uh, facial feature. So, you know, not all of our trolls have a good day. And sometimes we don't all have a good day. That's all right. But my troll is feeling it today. And I'm going to give him a big smile like I already did. Color that in. And let's give him those. They have those great big ears. I tell them they look like big old C's attached to their head. Some of them point them a little bit. It's fine. They should pop up over the head. And now we're ready for the hair. And for this, 
by the time we do the troll, we've already done um, like animals and we've done, um, like I mentioned, the color monster. And we've used zigzag lines in different ways to create texture, to create um, implied texture. So they are already used to creating this kind of a line with me. So we use our zigzag line and we're going up at an angle. And this is also something that they're used to creating with me. So we start right behind the ear. And we create a zigzag line that points up. Okay. And um, not so much a zigzag line that looks like a mountain. And then we're going to go the opposite way. Uh, going the opposite way is the one that's sometimes tricky for them. But they always just, ugh, my kids impress me so much when they work the way they do. And if any of my little ones are watching me. You guys are amazing artists. And I miss being able to tell you guys how awesome you are and how proud you make Ms. Mims. Love you guys. All right. So like I said, from here, it's just kind of up to you how you want to color him, uh, whether you want to use some paint, because that is indeed what I do with the troll, or if you want to get out um, a big pack of crayons and go for it. If you've got just a little pack of crayons, of course, you can do color mixing to create different colors in the hair and in the face and just all kinds of fun stuff. Let's see. Let's create some. I got a happy troll today. I think I'm feeling happy. I like when the sun is out. Whenever the sun's been out, it's made me feel quite happy. So I can do that. Or like I said, if I've got paints, this is generally what we've done. We have painted it. So you can do a little bit of both. So there is our troll adventure. Uh, getting you guys ready for the release of the new Trolls movie that all the kids are excited for. I know mine is like super hyped for it. <laughs> and the other Trolls movie is playing over and over and over on TV right now. So I'm watching that. Oh my gosh, the soundtrack plays over and over. And there you go. So go out and make some Trolls. Hope you guys are taking care of yourselves. My little friends, I miss you. I love you. Be safe. And I hope to see you soon. The rest of y'all, I hope to see you all soon, virtually. Uh, some of your work at Mrs. Mims one on Twitter. That is my handle. And as always, you can feel free to leave me any comments you'd like to down below. I'll talk to you later. Bye.